Just a quick heads up, this episode contains some frank discussion about depression. Boys. Molly. Molly. Welcome to my shamanic tent of sorts. I don't know. I okay. am going to open up this seance mm, for the wait. listeners. There are candles lit. Um, there are men with their heads inside of those things that cut them off. What are those called? Knives. Guillotine. Guillotines. Basically, Knives what works. I'm saying is this is a witch convention. Okay. We have everything we need ready to go. The sage is lit. And all I need from your assholes is for you to tell me when to stop shuffling the deck of moon cards because we're going to pick cards and I'm going to read your fortunes Ooh, is what's yeah. happening, sort Andy, of. You, you want to go first? I'm pretty scared. Yeah, he looks really scared. <laughs> I don't like you that it's to a go seance. First? Yeah, no, I would... I'll go first and yeah. then if, if anything bad happens to me, it's your fault, but you'll be safe. I'll take that. I'll take that risk. But it will be right. your fault. Well, who cares? No one's going to do okay. anything about it. Right. You should There's care. a lot of things that are my fault. I you don't care. You I don't, why would I feel bad? You're oh the one God. who lo- you're the one you're, who would be in pain, not me. You're so sociopath. You're afraid of a seance. Whatever. So if something's your fault, you will be punished for well, it. I'm scared of ghosts. But you are by the gods. consented. Oh You'll be God. punished by the gods. Good thing you have a black cat to protect you, though. Lay on Layla the shuffle. Layla is a witch. I'm shuffling. Layla is a witch in and of herself. Okay, so I, okay. I tell you when Wait, to stop on. your shuffling. Let me do one more healthy shuff, and then I'm going to just spread them for you. Okay, Justin, tell me when. Stop. My dreams reveal that magic is real and anything is possible. Oh, my God. Boo. That's oh, really I good, disagree. You. I disagree with that. Excuse really you, Andy. Good. I know that's you disagree? Thank you. All right, give me one. Give me one. Oh, oh now you want to yeah, do it. Yeah, I want it. one. Yeah, you got a good now one. He wants you heard. You heard that my dreams yeah. are gonna come true, yeah, and you're pissed bullshit. off. Yeah, you're I want my dreams to come true, buddy. Anything Not yours. Well, what? Why are they mutually exclusive, Andy? Molly, like, give me a good card. Only one white boy can succeed on this earth. All right, tell me when to stop. Stop. That was quick. Fast, aggressive. Hope you don't regret that. I believe in myself. I honor the natural process of growth and transformation. Basically, <sighs> basically, I'm an absolute loser who needs to stay in his cocoon for an indefinite amount of time until the universe lets me out. I and listen, Andy, we've all been there. I don't know if this is that type of game, but I definitely won. My head hurts. Write it down. I've got work. Write it down. My car died. Write it down. I've got no drive. Write it down. Uh, the car is a metaphor for motivation. So it's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. Journal me fine, I guess. Journal me fine, my ass ass. Journal my ass me fine, guess I. Yeah. That's Thanks for tuning right? in, folks. This episode is brought to you by the Spanx. three of us. Jellical oh, Cat. Yep. We're on the same page. Pathway. Nice. Finish so, each other's. Uh, I've been playing a lot of pickleball re- lately. All right. <laughs> Tell yeah. the people Wait, what pickleball what, what you, is. What are you rolling your eyes for? Well, can't you be happy for me for no, once? No, I'm mad today. I'm, I'm getting bringing exercise. negative energy. I, we, okay. What's going on with you today? Have you really been playing pickleball? I have with that my dad. That is endearing. And my brothers. My brothers. How does, how does one play pickleball? It's like, uh, it's like ping pong, life-sized ping pong. You could oh, play with... Tennis? No, not tennis. It's with a a wiffle ball and wooden paddles, and it's a very fun time. My dad is obsessed with it. It's very popular in, in retirement Arizona. communities, specifically in Arizona, and my there dad you know. is very, very good at it. And to me, it seems like Justin is trying to become my father's son to take my spot, to uproot me from my family. By taking I've already the, oh 
I've already you taken your spot. Oh, you You're haven't on done the that. other side of the country. Your Shut parents up. love me un- undeniably. See, it could be so you can say unconditionally, Jay. Unconditionally. Yeah. Undoubtedly. Undubitably. Yeah, and now you're better than me at pickleball because I've played it once. My dad kicked my ass and I never want to play again. I don't need the man to beat me at Absolute physical baby. things. Yeah, yeah, you know, my dad still, he, he cleans the court with my ass. Um, you losing? Yeah, I lost. I lose over and over to him. <laughs> but uh, over it's, a fun, over. it's a fun game, <laughs> nonetheless. Have you ever won? I have never won, <laughs> but I have fun. Good, Jay. That's a really good phrase, man. I have never <laughs> won, but and that's I have not, fun. That's not just pickleball. That's kind of my life of course. motto. <laughs> yeah. But that's beautiful. You have fun now. Like it's hmm. been previously, I've never won. The, the latter part is new for us. Justin, but I you're have a loser, fun. dude. You're right, a loser, but you enjoy loser. it now, easy right? Easy now. Easy All right. now. The cool, loser cool, shit. cool. It does we hurt. love sobriety. Huzzah. Lotsy docky cuckoo. Journal me fine, I guess. A comedy podcast hosted by us. We bring in our journal entries, we read them, we talk about them, improv at the end. Nice, dude. Sometimes Thanks. segment, sometimes friend. This time, neither. Yeah. Yeah, this I'll go time, first. neither. You go first, Molly. You take the reins on this. I like it. I like I'm going to go first. Um, so this, these entries, rather take place over the course of one week and they sort of just document my um, fluctuating mental health. And all of this is to show that it's okay. <laughs> wow. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay. This is in reference to an ex-boyfriend. Talking to Blank is frustrating me right now. I just simply don't like him anymore. I feel frustrated right now, like I don't know what to do with myself slash where to go. I don't want to interact with people. I feel ugly and gross and too lazy for yoga. Next day, I broke up with blank. I noticed the feeling and followed it with an action. I feel so free and on top of my life. I'm so excited to give my love and attention to myself and to the people I truly love. Yoga has been harder lately. I've been comparing myself to others, criticizing where I'm at and feeling stuck. But today I push past that. I love my practice because it's mine. It holds me where I'm at. It's true and real and that's all yoga should be. I know even if the results aren't always evident, I'm moving in the right direction. Then we turn the page. This is seven days later. Today, as I arrive on my mat, I feel grateful for the effort it took not only to commit to doing this for myself today, but also for the ongoing improvements in my ability to stop the critical voice before she goes too far, put my hair down when, I'm, when the feeling comes up. That's like a bad habit I have to the listeners. Um, but what if a feeling came up and I just sat down and let it arrive and let it pass before picking up my phone, food, weed, hair, whatever it is? It's okay to just be next day i've been struggling in my practice mainly with balance focus and strength that's not to discount my capabilities in any of those categories i just want to improve on them but that's the whole thing with yoga it doesn't start once you have all the poses down it starts the instant you decide to show up for yourself in a healing messy way when we look at our fears straight in the eye we open the gates for ourselves to overcome them Acknowledge it, see it, know it, feel it, and then we can let go. This posture is difficult for me. There's no load that has to come with that statement. It simply is, and I can begin to intentionally grow once I let myself see where I'm at and celebrate that. I have strength now that I couldn't have imagined physically, intellectually, and emotionally. I'm here for something greater than me, and when I do yoga, I feel like I'm coming close to that intangible thing. That thing that unifies the meaning of yoga. I know that no one ever regretted being patient. My practice will grow with me. If I can't be happy with my unfinished practice, how can I be happy with my unfinished self? Right now is the time. It's already happening. We are here and the moment is now. I'm going to live to my fullest capacity as I am and eventually as I will be. The more I let go, the more I can let in. 
Brava, mom. God damn. That's a pretty, um, nor- and for anyone who doesn't know me, I teach yoga. Um, so a lot of the time people assume, like, because I'm a yoga teacher, it comes really easily and I can just, like, wake up in the morning and drink water with lemon and meditate for 30 minutes and then practice yoga and I'm happy-go-lucky. That is absolutely never the case. I wake up every day and struggle like the rest of us. Um, And it's always just an accomplishment for me when I get on the mat. doesn't even matter what I do on it. Um, I think that's important because there's so much comparison in that world of like exercise and everything and this is coming to you from someone who's a teacher and still struggles with the very basic stuff Mm. comparison is the thief of joy yeah jay as they say Mm. you've been talking to my dad is that what larry says too well yeah but someone said it before him yeah we know (laughs) you and him text we we text, we gab. But you yeah. text only in those sorts of sentences. Right. We just be like only idioms. Mm-hmm. Idioms back and forth. My dad has a lot. Don't let them rent space in your head. Rent free, mm. baby. Rent free. Don't well, no, do that. don't do that. You don't want it. Oh, right. Get out of there. Pay rent. Right. Pay rent, bitch, or you, leave. You got to be yep. a landlord to the people, to the, the fuckers thoughts. in your head, to the thoughts. Right. You better be paying up. Yeah. I like that you broke up with uh, what's his g- game, and then the next day <laughs> you were having the best day of your life. Of course, <laughs> this relationship was Every just. I'm like, free. Uh, I've never felt more in touch with myself <laughs> and who I am, and I can do anything in the world. I can do it. The world oh, is mine. The day before, him. I'm like, I feel ugly and lazy. I know. Literally, next day, I broke up with him. I feel ready and full of life. <laughs> what a 180! It's that quick, babies. <laughs> Uh, we should send him the excerpt just so he can know. By oh the way, God, Molly had no. an awesome day the next day. <laughs> just Poor FYI. Bastard. Just why I'm doing better without you. What would you recommend to people who maybe, uh, maybe they don't go outside every day and they sit at their desk and they're losing their sight and they're balding yeah, and they right uh-huh. and, and they talk well, to a cat kinda, mostly. The roommates oh, was, aren't home anymore. Um. Andy, okay. Can so... I ask you a question? <laughs> What's up, Justin? <laughs> when was the last time you got a hug? The last time I got a hug? Yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> well, dude, we're worried about you because Paul left concerned? you last week. Because you're you've all been alone. sending us these cryptic voice notes Very for cryptic. seven days now. Terrifying. Yes, yeah. yeah, so we're worried. What? I've been on a voice note craze because yeah, I don't yeah. really talk to people. Exactly. So that's so the I want to pretend to talk. And right. so just now you were asking for advice from a hypothetical person, but it so quickly became very specific to you. Yeah, and it was about me. Issues. Right. So what would I recommend to that person? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess my question is, can you, <laughs> can you help? Yeah, I can oh. help, Andy. I'll help. You gotta, Andy. Why don't you start doing yoga? You're always talking about Dude, how your back hurts. I can't bend. You're always hurt. You're always Wait, in pain. I can't bend. This is kind you of the point bend. of what That's I'm why saying. You do yoga, though, Andy. Listen, I've like for the past few months have been going into therapy, complaining that like oh, I can't get myself to sit down and do yoga for an hour, so I just haven't been doing it. And my therapist keeps saying like, you don't have to do it for an hour. You can just lay out your mat literally hold one pose like there doesn't have to be any um continuity or like flow to it like you can just do a five minute stretch and it makes a huge difference so that's what i would tell the hypothetical listener and that's also what i would tell andy is oh me yeah yeah you Mm -hmm. is just like hold one posture for because then you get into the fascia the deep muscle tissue which can only be woken up through heat and time, so that's is holding this, a pose. Is this one of uh, a pose I could do? What is it? You're slouching in your You're chair. You're just slouching in your floor. chair, staring so, at the yeah, floor. So, yeah, that's slouching, not, huh? That's not a pose. Yeah, you guys slouching. say that's slouching? That's yes. slouching, baby. That's a hard slouch. This is me trying. Your back is a and, rainbow. I mean, you can do that, but Patanjali had nothing to do with that. He didn't recommend that. <laughs> okay, good to know. All right. Does that's it super feel helpful. Weird? I, I have, I mean... Lots of people have trouble slouching. I don't have good posture, so I can't really give you shit for that. But my back, I don't have to work at a desk all day as yeah. I have not held a job down for a while. It's been a minute. 
High it's five, been a man. boy, me too. But I think the yoga would help. Yeah. Guys, we should do yoga on Zoom together. Now? I'll think about it. Uh, Not now. It really frightens me. I've been playing basketball every now and then. That's true. That's, That's been good. my movement. Have you been doing pickup game? No, no, no. I don't want to be de- I don't want to be embarrassed or destroyed or so get COVID. So where are you playing? Good, I'll, where are you I'll playing? wake up early so the court is empty and then I'll go okay. play by myself and if there's anyone around, about, I won't play. Yeah. Mm. I was thinking about doing that at the skate park near my house this week. To go mm. skating? Yeah, just like feeling out when it's the most Do empty. It. That'd be fun. Because your girl wants to go fun. down a ramp without all these cool TikToking teenagers staring girl, at her. Girl, I have course. been there, girl. Like, we get it. You have sliders on, vans, and Damn. apps on your phone. They've I'm apps. just trying to feel the wind in my hair. Absolutely. Right. Justin, it's you tough. ride in bikes, you skate in longboards. You're a wheel guy. You He's love wheels. Pickle, pickleball. I do love wheels. I have been biking He's pretty often. He's big wheel boy. Skating. On my big wheel. I haven't yeah. really skateboarded in a minute. Um, that's failure. really disappointing to hear. Absolute failure. <laughs> it's right. really, really well, sad. So geez. you so want to do the next journal know. entry? Like, how yeah. are we supposed to pick it up after that? Because Justin has clearly okay, dropped. I'll pick it, I'll it's pick just it up hobby. and I will drop it and bury it because this entry is pitch black, folks. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? It's it dark. Means it's dark. <laughs> oh, right. Um, dark and sad. Dark and sad. Um, September 17th, 2017. <gasps> That's my at- birthday, and the fact that neither of you reacted means that you don't know my birthday. Off-hand. September 17th. September 17th. I was about to, and then you interrupted. And Yeah. Happy What's my birthday, birthday Molly? By the way. Thanks, bitches. Your birthday just passed, November 4th. Ooh, what's my birthday? Yours is in February. Yeah. And it is February. Not super offhand. A little in the teens, 11th. Yes. Oh, close. 12th. 12th. It's the 12th. That so still, close. So I'm freaking close. I'm you honestly guys. impressed. Okay, cool. I'm going to begin. In five minutes, it will be September 18th, marking exactly two weeks since I've had a day off from work. Between the 60-hour work weeks, including a single 18-hour shift, I've been rehearsing weekly with Mercy Santos, performing weekly with Mercy Santos, and running around auditioning for things I know I won't get, but for some reason I'm still desperate enough to show up for. I don't even really like acting. I can't memorize the lines. My brain won't let me. I'm too insecure to be emotionally vulnerable in front of anyone. Even if I wasn't, I don't know how to effectively convey emotions. I do not have range. Since I no longer have nights where I can let loose, I simply let loose every night because what's the fucking difference anymore? Then I complain about how tired I am. Go figure. Is it too much to ask to have time to do things you like and also get fucked up and also get enough sleep? I guess being an adult is trying to balance what little time you have have effectively. I haven't written anything in months. I haven't done stand-up in months. I feel unfunny and untalented. I feel tired always. I feel like I'm going backwards, and I don't feel afraid to die. I also feel like a whiny asshole, which is absolutely true. The only time I feel okay is when I'm with blank, and she lives in Connecticut. When she's here, finding time for just the two of us requires me working when she's asleep so I can get back when she's waking up. I'm fucking tired. Comedy is starting to feel like it doesn't matter. Improv is starting to feel stale. I'm starting to feel cold and empty and lost. Blank has been the only good thing for me. I guess I'll just keep doing this until I die. The end. Jay. Christ, brother. We it was a dark you. it was a dark one. And that's okay. And we, those uh, are all familiar sentiments to both of us, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially on Molly's birthday, I usually feel all of that. Yeah, and you I think that's kind of yeah. what sparked the whole thing up. <laughs> My was, birthday? It's usually your birthday. Yeah, yeah it's like an anti-holiday. <laughs> right. No, just cool. kidding, Molly. That's just yeah. teasing. Uh, brutal to that's hear fine. a lot. That's fine. I have, a, I have thick just skin. Teasing. Do you? Love you. No, I don't have really thick <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> easily. Um, You're bleeding. You know, Justin, <laughs> I noticed that... We aren't like 
the only things giving you joy what's that about oh. right yeah i don't I know what even, to tell you i, I thought I blank was me that's why i got confused with the other Do you details live in connecticut yeah, I guess I thought that was a typo in his journal in your a journal typo entry, in Justin. His, in his handwritten um, journal like, entry. Yeah, you meant to write Casa Grande, Arizona, to be like he's always he's from a different town. I don't know if that's the Wish case. Well, well, here, how about let's do this? Am I blank? No. Okay, so that hurts. Do you know who it was? <laughs> yeah, I know who it is. Of course, it's a we know who it loss. is. And I'm, not, I'm just kidding. It's all good. It's all good. Oh my god! It's so raw. <laughs> it's a it's little so raw. raw. It's um, so recent, and that's you okay. Know, the problem with this entry is this period of my life was so focused on what was going wrong, what I didn't have, what I wasn't doing, all the negative words. That's where all my energy and focus was. Mm. So that's what was coming back to me instead of thinking about what I'm what I have and what I'm grateful for mm -hmm. so I had a great job I was had my own apartment mm -hmm. I had a girlfriend at the time and like I had you guys like You're I just couldn't a lot of cool art yeah and I was just getting to, in my own way yeah and it's hard not to do that like, you can't blame yourself for that but it's a cool perspective to have because I think like that the sentiments in that journal are not like I was having those in 2017 and I definitely have them in 2020. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think that's a really um, refreshing and important way to get yourself out of that spiral when you start journaling about all the shit that you're not doing to like check yourself and be like, okay, let me list five things that are good. Right. Yeah. I gotta, don't do that enough. Gotta be grateful. Well, you also needed help otherwise, outside of just positive thinking. <laughs> yeah, there is a yeah, few variables that. in there. <laughs> There's yeah, the, like, few. wanting to get fucked up first. Every having, night. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, when you read that, do you feel like you know that person still? Do you feel like that's different? Some of it is the same? I'm sure, I mean, some of it is still going to be relatable. I mean, I feel that way about comedy every day, even though it's oh, dead yeah. at the moment. Well, that's like, yeah, it's just taken yeah. such an odd, like, turn. Mm -hmm. We can't do it. It's like, so it's kind of like takes pressure off. Yeah. But, but even when we were but... doing it, I mean, I think about our time at I.O., like how many moments we had where we were just feeling like absolutely brain dead creatively right um but it's often just a state of mind because totally. we're so we're constantly using it it's cool to be able to look at it now mm -hmm. with a renewed perspective it is yeah i found that somewhere in my notes i thought i was like out of entries but it's still that classic i mean both of you guys you write like you're writing like a well-written essay like you're practicing writing oh which is yeah. interesting that one for, for me I found, it was like more sincere to justin's voice i found than his usual stuff is almost like comedically yeah I agree. narrated uh, yeah i don't know said her leather dressed friend. <laughs> this yeah, was yeah. just like an eloquent way of i guess i described this one as um uh, like pitch black or something yeah mm. it's well, I don't know. I've been sitting on that. that what do you guys think? What? Sorry, so, yeah. I said that up top. Yeah, straight off the dome. Oh, he really? After I tassage. after I said it. No, nope. he said it at the very beginning before yeah. we heard the entry. Before you heard it, how would you have known? Well, he wrote it, so he knew. Who? And he, Justin, and he, you keep forgetting time. Like, yeah, time and who and what. Like you, all. We Molly I sent, sent a photo of herself yeah. in the group chat the other day. You said, "Who is that?" Yeah, I didn't know who it was. Justin separately to say he who is that. Texted me separately and said and who is that. Justin said, "Who was That's it? Molly. That's our friend did you answer? Molly. That's our he dear said, friend Molly. Yeah, he answered. That's our dear friend you? Molly. This Molly? Yeah. Yes. It was a clear as day. It was and a I great texted, photo. I texted you, Molly, asking who it was. Oh you asked God, you're Justin doing it right separately. Now. You said, "Who is that?" And this Justin is really said, concerning. I don't really Molly. get it. Oh my god. This is really upsetting. I think I should go to his apartment tonight. No. I think you should too. You just don't just fucking come near me. 
You have oh my, my daughter in there. This so place is a I'm fucking death trap. She is not safe. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Andy, you I think if Layla and Andy end. fought, Layla would win. <laughs> Layla claws me win. every day. Of course He's she on does. Here too. You hiss at her. Get ready for this entry because oh, it's not an wait. entry. Oh. oh. Is it another rap? I was uh, scrolling through uh, my old Google Drive accounts, Ooh. specifically my uh, high school one, and I found an assignment from my Christian morality class. <laughs> <laughs> we took a class called Morality our senior year where they taught you what was right and what was wrong. Hell yeah. It was objective. For of example. Course. Black and white. <laughs> sex. Sex is wrong no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only example I have. Anyway, it's a really long assignment, but I highlighted a couple of parts. Basically, we're looking at a chart here, okay? A table okay. of sorts. And on the left... There's categories. They go spiritual, emotional, physical. It goes on. And then on the right, it goes on the columns, now to college years, midlife, and then end of life. Oh, so you're supposed to list your spiritual goals for now, and then your spiritual goals for midlife, spiritual for end of life. So I'm going to read to you, first, my spiritual goals for now to the college years. What year is this again? Oh, 2016, 2015. My spiritual goals from now, aka 2016 into college years, go like this. Number one, one, go to mass more often. Two, <laughs> understand more fully the Catholic belief system. Three, set aside time for prayer and contemplation in life. Four, learn about other religions and philosophies at a collegiate level. Five, talk to people from different faith backgrounds. Six, cultivate empathy for others via oh school God. projects in high school and college. Seven, actually go through with Lenten sacrifice for once in my life, i.e. cultivate some discipline. God. And eight, have meaningful, honest conversations with peers about differing beliefs. And then we'll move over to my uh, end of life spiritual goals. One, oh, okay, they go, I desire to be remembered as one, a man of sound moral judgment. Two, a person who respected all faith backgrounds. Three, someone who took into consideration every religious philosophy he knew about when making decisions. Four, <laughs> as an empath that cared for others. Five, as a respected, compassionate giver. Six, as someone who was patient and respectfully discussed matters of belief openly with others. Seven, as an honest person. And eight, as relatively non judgmental. <laughs> relatively holy shit so um, so many questions you still have not cultivated empathy for you others you haven't I cultivated shit, shit about other people shit. and you you've still, cultivated nothing you refuse to talk to any any anyone of a different anyone of a different background or, of a different background which yeah. is funny because you never go to mass it's not like you're a devout catholic either <laughs> right you're just you, like jack squip <laughs> squash can you repeat what your end of life goal was when you said i want to be remembered as someone who took into account every <laughs> oh. before he um, made any statement was that? sounds like it would I, make things much more complicated as in terms of communication who took into consideration every religious philosophy he knew about when making decisions <laughs> that would make this, this <laughs> such you a have harder to think about things from every perspective you know about Molly, obviously. <laughs> oh my god! You're like Andy, do you want to get uh, pepperoni on your pizza or mushrooms? Hold on, let me. And try then he to has a vision the like Raven Soul. Yeah. <laughs> Holding up I the guess line I'm at Starbucks today. <laughs> <laughs> it is Yom Kippur. Yeah, I mean, Holy this is shit. obviously one of those assign. I mean, there are so many of these, and could you turn school. it in? Yeah, where you have so you just write what the yes, teacher wants I, to hear. It looks like you had to have nine for each because it's Insane. fucking five pages long, and they're all like that. And it's uh, like I was yeah. not even Catholic in my senior year yeah. of high school. I didn't give a shit. So it's definitely just me filling space. It's just yeah. funny. You, you also like grow up. You grow up and learn what you like. Your goals for your middle age reveal themselves as you live through your younger age. Like, there's no way for some idiot 18 year old andy to sit down and 
channel what future Andy is going to want to be remembered <laughs> yeah, for. Yeah, it's so dumb. It's a ridiculous assignment. Yeah, we had some ridiculous ones back then. Um, I was scrolling through my other documents, and I found one called um, Context for uh, the Catholic Crusades. And I opened it, and it was completely empty. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's at the top, joke. yeah. And I was like, that's very funny. But then I clicked the top, and it said, edit history. Justin Kaziski last edited in April 2016. I was like, what the fuck? And I click it, and Justin had deleted the entire document. <laughs> there was a so full was essay Justin's that I had joke. written. <laughs> he just deleted it. <laughs> like, why? I like, can't think of a single because reason why. It's the context, dude. <laughs> it's the context. Mm, dude. That's the so punchline. Really good, man. Thank you. How I many a, I was a funny Google, kid. <laughs> Google Docs do you think we share as a triad? Hundreds. Share between us or yeah. have individually? No, no, no. Share between us, not have individually. Probably 55. Exciting. We have a good amount of. Good My amount guess of is fifty-five. Put your guesses on the table, folks. That's a good oh. guess, Andy. It's uh, probably somewhere around. I would say I'm gonna say sixty. I'm say fifty-six. Because there's Jesus, so many. Jesus, Molly. Gotta say fifty-seven. You suck. Right? No one said fifty-seven yet. No. Uh, no. I'm gonna say fifty-seven. Okay, I'm gonna I'm drop s- mine down to fifty-nine. You guys are the worst. Okay. Good. Well, guess, we'll check right? in on that. Uh, all right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with some improv. Improv of the imps. Hey, um, Molly, just uh, was wondering if... Look, I know things got kind of crazy yesterday when you broke up with me. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I just kind of wanted to see where you were at, see if you still were feeling like that was the right decision. And... Because I'm not really sure. Right. Because we had such a cool thing going. Yeah. Um, And it was so cool. You're not done yet. And so I'm just saying, on my side, for me, the door is still wide open if you want to rekindle the flame that was our passionate love for one another. You've made that abundantly clear. Uh huh. Um, you got the I, text, right? I got the text, the voicemails. You posted uh-huh. on my Facebook wall, which next time, I, poked you. I mean, I I ask you not to reach out to me, period. But if you're going to, at the very least, keep it to a DM so it doesn't have to like involve okay. all my friends and family. But um, yeah. to answer your question, um, my mind has not changed since yesterday, and I'll do you one better, Greg. I'll yeah. do you one better. Um, no. should it ever change, I'll be sure to get in touch with you. So, okay. and that's not to surprise, say, oh. Molly. It's all your greatest friends here. We're so happy for the you for the breakup. You're free, guys. You're having a party for <laughs> Yay, Molly. Oh, oh my There's god, 15 okay. people. Yay, yay. Oh Greg, so if that's, I'm sorry about this. If that's like sort of it, basically what I'm saying is don't reach out to me anymore. I'm, you can almost bet that I'm never going to reach out to you again. So don't like get your hopes up. But what I'm saying is, no, no, no. I'm just saying there's there's no hope. (laughs) Nope. There's no hope. I'm basically trying to get you to stop contacting me. So what I'm saying is if I ever need to contact you, I will do it. So, so let you ease your head, but a, I, oh I will not tea be break. doing that. Where take should a tea we, break from old Greg. Where should we put this cardboard break. cutout of Greg to throw darts at? Oh, Greg, oh, you're here. God. Greg, come here. Come here. Stand next to it. Stand next to it. Oh, I, I <laughs> Sandy, don't, don't do that to him. Sandy, it's <laughs> not don't. funny. Sorry. I'm Sorry, humiliated. Greg. Sandy, that's really not nice. Jeez, Sandy, we used to be friends. Wait, Greg. Sandy puts a, sh- a hand on Greg's shoulder. You do know you are a five, right? Out of ten? Yeah, generously. Okay. You do know that, right? Okay. I I mean, now I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, you know are. I... Everyone else, what do you guys, what do you think Greg is? Be generous, and though. Three. Probably four. So I heard a three. I heard so a I'm four. giving you a five. I'm being I, a good friend. I think he's a ten. 
<gasps> Everyone turns around. <gasps> what the? It's Who me. said that? Phyllis. Please. Oh, it's Phyllis. All right, I and it was, was it a joke? No, Phyllis? Greg. Greg, it's me, Phyllis. Hi, hey, Phyllis. Was that a joke? No, it, I'm not funny. <laughs> Everyone oh. knows Phyllis is I not funny. No sense of humor. I barely oh. have social cues. Um, oh my god, me too. But I find you brutally attractive. Seriously? Yeah, and I don't really know how I got invited to this party. You weren't. Yeah. Right. I, I honestly didn't even know there was going to be a party. Right, if and that guys... makes sense, because... It... If you guys are yeah. gonna kiss, can you go outside? Because I don't want everyone oh. else to start kiss? puking never, during whoa. the party. <laughs> I've never kissed anyone. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, maybe we're, we're never. Talking we're not about gonna that. kiss right now. Maybe me, Greg can come in and have a drink and just hang out at the party. I I don't know if I should hang out here. To be honest, Phyllis. It's, so. Yeah, come it's on, sort of an anti-Greg party. It's kind of an anti-me party. We can like go and we can sit on the couch and hold hands. We don't have to play like pin the tail up Greg's ass or yeah, that throw was, darts at you. No, or the pinata of your body. Yeah, it's got such a small genitalia. Yeah, but it's all right because for what I lack in length and width, make up for it with my gifts. Like what? What do you mean? Like what gifts? Well, I I used to buy her things all the time. Hey. Oh, that's that's you meant you. So they're not natural gifts. Then you're talking <laughs> no, about the gifts that you used you to buy me. Things that I bought. The things you bought me were. I didn't want to have to do this, Greg. This is a brutal, brutal way to break up, but you are creating this situation. You made me necklaces out of ribbons. That I found. Yeah, and then you would staple cardboard to the front of them and sort of write something on it, like a note, like it was engraved, but it was just a... Yeah, but it was just a ribbon with cardboard stapled to it. And I found the ribbon on purpose. I would look for them. So Greg, is that cool? Is there dirt falling out of your pocket? Yeah, I took a <laughs> spill on the way over. Jeez. <laughs> oh wow, it's oozing. Oh god. Oh, it's a lot. There's a lot coming out. Oh, my hands yeah, are dirty. It was Jeez, a pretty man. big hill. Yeah, you fell for a while. I took a spill on the hill. Mm. Does anyone have an Advil? No, no one Some give him an Advil. No I one give him it. Oh gosh, Phyllis. Yeah, I have an Advil for you. Oh, Greg, thank if you. If you'll have me, I will. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Well, I back there, Greg. It's actually a funny story. Back there, where I said I had Advil for you. Mm -hmm. It's more of a leave, but I just really oh. wanted. I wanted to get you in the house. I'll leave. No, Greg, don't bye, leave. Greg. If it's to leave, I'll leave. Everyone goes, bye, Greg. Goodbye, guys. Sorry bye, Greg. for, I don't know, I guess, existing. They shut the door on him. He's alone <laughs> outside. Oh it's raining. God. This has got to be the fifth worst day of my life. A snail starts pissing on his toe. Oh, good. Just what I needed. Another fungal infection. Thanks a lot, Mr. Snail. Sorry there's no sink for your hand to wash your hands. In the distance, an apartment door closes. Creak. Odd. I smell Sammy's pee. And yet... Oh, is this your he's smell? He's nowhere... <gasps> Little boy! Have I'm you got my Sammy? A grown person. Hello, little chum. Oh. Yes, that that is my snail. His name is Sammy. Oh. Did he give you a treat? He peed on my toe. Oh, that's sweet. He likes you. Would you oh, like to that... come in for tea and crumpets? Oh. Yeah. My name is sure. Charles Dickens. Oh, hi, Charles. What's your name? Greg. Nice to meet you, Greg. Likewise. We are just going to order some appetizers for the table. Oh, so, sweet. Um, I think a couple of us were into the fried calamari. There's some dumplings. Um, 
mac and cheese balls and then if there's anything else you want no i'm not gonna eat anything so whatever you guys get just i'm not paying for any i'm not getting anything i'm just having water but yeah you guys have at it i'll just be sitting here well we were just gonna get a few things for the table i don't know that's fine i just want you to know that i am i am not gonna eat any of it and so i'm not paying Okay. okay, we weren't even right. talking about the bill yet. I just Great. wanted to make sure you have what you needed. Yeah, no, I'm perfectly okay. Can I ask why you came out with us? To hang out. That's fair. Ha 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 ha. My guys. Right. <laughs> well, we're so glad you're here, Andy, because you're, Me you're a bucket of fun. Thanks. Yeah, it's been cool getting to know you, man. How do you like working at the shop? With us. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. So weird that you're talking to someone else. Ah, uh, yeah. Why that's would okay. I? Why? Why? There's. It's just the, us three. It's just I the like three the shop. Us. I'm used to being like a manager, so it's a little weird being at the associate level. But I, you know, it's good to. Right. And where did you say? Little... Where did you say you were a manager again? I don't know. Hmm. That's not a name. Over at Jade Bungle. That's Jay not who? a belaffer. Laugh what gas. Is that? Laugh gas at the mall at the store in the mall. Which what store? Store the closing. closing. The closing store. Clothing. Oh, the clothing. It store. was close. It did close. There's That's like why I'm here. Seven clothing stores at the mall. Right. It closed. So talk about six. Oh, French fries are here. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Sweet. All right. Don't take. Nope. Don't take any. Right. What's up? Well, you said you weren't going to eat them. Oh, fuck. Sorry. I, well, I figured I could have like one fry. Sorry. It's just like. <laughs> I'll hold back. It, it's I'll cool. hold back. It's cool. No, it's cool. Molly Thanks, man. Just... Thanks, man. Grab us another just fry. Like, where do we, where so, do we draw oh. the line, right? Because hmm? like, like the food is here for us to sort of pick at too. So we are yeah, going to pay that. for it together. For sure. But if you're yeah. like picking at it also, then you should pay for it with us. I hate mooches. So, <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, you know what else I hate, guys? Mm. The 49ers, right? I mean, what was that game this <laughs> oh week? Oh, my God. Don't even get me started. It's like, I throw the football. ball. Do you guys yeah, watch football? Like... Do you guys seriously still watch football? Uh, after the what? concussion scandal? What do you do you scandal? seriously watch football after the concussion scandal? What um, scandal? They get the one that revealed the that they all have concussions. Right. So that's like been a known uh, thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we still. still I wouldn't. Kinda... I wouldn't support something like that. You wouldn't. Right. Mm mm. Okay, but you support other things, right? Or don't you and Jeffrey Epstein have like a? close buddy buddy relationship we hung out once at a party it's more than i've hung out it's not a buddy buddy thing we hung out once at a party i didn't know who he was all right all right okay it's all good but he hooked Um, you up with some shit didn't he yeah we hooked up with some some shits and stuff some people that's fine oh everything was different from what i said but what did you say nothing that's that's enough uh, let's get back to our football conversation because I suddenly don't okay. feel morally inferior. Here, I got to go to the bathroom, actually. Justin, could you scoot out of the booth? Oh, so yeah. I know that I requested to sit closer yeah, to the, the wall. all the way on the inside, yeah. yeah. Oh, this okay. is my third <laughs> time going to the bathroom. That's all right. Um, maybe when you come yeah. back, you sit on the outside. And then... Oh, no, I won't have to pee again. Let me just finish my water. Last time. Time all right, before. thanks, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, See you. Yeah, just, oh, you're kneeing me in the back? Sorry. Oh, all right. Oh my fucking god. What is going on with this asshole? It's like I thought that nothing could take me out of the pure bliss that I get from working on cars all day. And right. yet I'll be like under a machine moving around some wires like I do professionally mm-hmm. and hear his annoying little voice. That's what he and does. He I burrows in your brain. I'm like wishing I had an office job. Me. Yeah. Can you believe that? Honestly, unfortunately, I can't because this guy, he does that. He gets in your fucking brain and he built, he just embeds himself in yeah. there. And like you can't shake it. Did you, did you know that he called my mom? 
called, you called mom? my mom last week. Yes. How? I have no idea. I think when she got the Facebook app, she like it automatically connected her phone or something. That's the only logical reason I could think. But he saw Not her logical. out and got her no. number. That's crazy. And what did he have to say to her? Get this. He called my mom and told her that I'm seeing somebody, which simply just isn't true. It's just a weird lie. He just said yeah, I was seeing just... somebody. Did and he you tell know your... my mom? Right. Of course she's overprotective. Yeah, so she calls me, you know, she, why didn't you tell me you were seeing somebody? Why are you being like, safe? The whole you never call thing. me anymore. And it just s- snowballed into the, oh. and now there's like all this tension. Thanksgiving was a nightmare. Oh my God, I can't imagine. Hey guys, can I squeeze back in? Why yeah. <sighs> Check it out. Look what I found in the bathroom. Bunch oh my of God. condoms. Ew, they're used. Yeah, that is so they were nasty. All over the dude. place. I know. And you, you took Who would them? do that in a bathroom? That just nope, a security guard the approaches issue. the br- the booth. Yep, this is a guy. This is a guy that threw used condoms all over the bathroom. We tried Ooh. to stop him. He said, "Shut the fuck up! I'm Ooh. trying to do a prank for my Ooh, friends." Oh man! And then he collected them all and walked out of the bathroom. What? Who is? This? You guys it's... believe this security guard? I didn't. I can't believe this place even has security, right? The food's so cheap and bad. Jeez, man. What the It's a family-owned business. Ugh, I can't afford therapy. Okay. Cut to Charles Dickens' apartment with Greg. It's been 48 hours, and they're still nibbling on their finger sandwiches and crumpets. That's sort of my coming-of-age story. Okay. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. That's exciting. So, um, yeah. I like the part with the beach house. Right. Well, yeah, the part where... Which part in the beach house? Where you went there with your family. Oh, yeah. That was a significant part of my childhood. And I almost forgot because that was like 36 hours ago when I told you that part. Yeah, it was deep back there, but it stuck with me. You're a good listener, kid. Thank you. I really, really, really appreciate you saying that. I don't have a lot of wins these days, so I got to collect every little piece of gold that I could mine. (sighs) There's a knock at the door. Oh, coming. Hello? Hi, hi, yes. I'm I'm Father Peter, and I was informed that there was a young, ugly boy here who needed his last rites. Well, it's certainly not me. No, I don't. I, don't think. I think I see him back there. I think I can smell him. He sounds like he smells like death. Great. Hello, hello, yeah. young boy. Hello, dad, or father. It's father. Please don't call me right. dad. It's very strange. Sorry. No wonder you get it mixed up with the the Jewish version. No, nope. there you call. That. I don't think so. Well, sit down, sit down. You're clearly very, very ill. Now, have are you religious? No, but you are dying. Clearly. I don't think so. I'm you not, clearly are dying. You smell bad. Your oh, skin no. is pasty. You look like you're decomposing. I, I wasn't going to say anything. Did you take what? him in? Did you take him in, sir? I invited him into my home, yes. It's like, very kind of you. Mostly because my, my little Sammy made friends with him. and. Well, he peed on my toe and gave oh, me a fungal infection. This little guy. Oh, he's very cute. Yeah. God will look upon you with grace, sir, for taking in this ill... Very sick, demented child. Oh, that means not that so demented. much. To is me meeting? He's meeting death because, soon. Oh jeez! Wow. I needed a win. I oh, well, you absolutely Charles. needed this. Charles, I listened to you speak for forty-eight hours straight. I know, You're and I told on you me like this. I'm not turning on you. I'm just saying my life has sort of been going downhill, and mm. it's been nice to talk to you and all, although you've. You've and now given you want me, me dead. nothing. No, it's just nice to know that you're dying and I sort of helped you. When you're very lucky, Greg, that I arrived on time because you're still alive and hopefully you can consume. Um... I'm not a lucky person, okay? So don't say that word around me, please. You're very I lucky. I just found out I'm father dying. found you in time. You're right. very, right now you're lucky. I understand that your life may have been full of horrible okay, things. You look like you've gone through some, Easy. some jack, 
Yeah, well, I had a breakup recently, so. Oh no. Oh no. What you happened? You didn't tell me that. You didn't oh. give me a chance to speak, Charles. Well, speak on it now. Tell yeah, us about tell your us breakup. All about the girl. She basically had a party and everybody we both knew was there to celebrate that I was not having to be in their lives again. Mm -hmm. And there was sort of games about how I'm bad right. and if pretending I was getting hurt. What kind and of game? people shouted that out. Sounds really fun. That I was a four out of ten. One person said I was a three. One person graciously gave me a five. That's really nice of them. A five, and, huh? Yeah, and one Any person gave me a full ten. And <gasps> her name was Phyllis. No way. Go get her, sweetie. Where is yeah. she? Yeah, I don't know where she lives. Look at me. May the may the may the body of Christ compel you to to do be, what to be okay after death, but also. Dear son, to I'm go find this woman. I'm not possessed. This old. This is the only woman who will ever like you. That's... Eat this. Thank and you. Go out. Go off. Go off, King. I actually was hoping I could crash here for a bit because I actually don't have my spot right now. Right. And I took uh. a spill on a hill the other day, and I'm still sort of. Yeah, you're super muddy, too. and you you're tracked it all in into my house. I'm sorry about uh. that. I will mop. No, that's, that's okay, Greg. I just uh, 48 hours has been plenty, so. Uh, so Father, can you direct him to Phyllis's home? Yes, she's uh, she's you know staring she at lives. you through the window. Well, there's oh. a there's an ugly young girl looking through the window. I presume that would that's be her. her. How did she get up to my window? I live she on the break, seventh floor. She breaks the window <laughs> and enters. Greg! Oh, my God, Phyllis. I haven't what an been able to feat. stop thinking about you. Likewise. I climbed up the side of this building. For me? For you, to be with you again. That's so romantic. If you two would like, I could marry you right here, right now. But before you uh, make that marriage? sort of this, Yep. Well, we haven't even kissed Do yet. you mean it? I mean it, but it is a big decision, so make sure you think about Greg. how every single religious philosophy would approach such a choice before you say uh, yay or nay. We always do. Oh, God. Good. Well, it's got to be guess... yay from me, just going through the Rolodex real quick in my head. Yeah. I don't know about that many, so it doesn't make the decision that much harder. Don't have oh. a lot to consider. A we do. Perspectives. Uh, okay. We do, Daddy. And you're oh, married. Dad. You're married, Thank kids. You, Dad. Just like that? Just like that. Oh, my. <gasps> Greg. Oh, my no. Chest. Is... Oh. His body's swallowing him whole. Oh, he's becoming oh a blueberry. My God. Did I not like this? Is, is this it's not, not like this? No, it's not because you know he's very ill. He's. I don't want to be a blueberry. Well, Father, can not you annul like the marriage this. quickly so no. I don't have to like, go through the paperwork? Or... No. Phyllis, I, so, I don't well, want you to remarry again. Blueberry. <laughs> not like this. Oh, yeah, baby. Thank you guys for listening to Journal Me Fine on Spotify, podcast app, Apple Music, iTunes, YouTunes, YouTube. And I, I want to say something. This one specifically goes out to my mom um, because she is on the other side of this door. And I am 90% certain that just from what I heard during this recording um, that my dog took a shit on her carpet. Oh, oh so, no. Amy, I love you. Thank I'm you, Amy. sorry. You're a saint, um, Amy. I'll do better. You want to plug Amy's Venmo? Yeah. It's <laughs> to pay Amy, for the carpet? It's probably Amy L. Aaron, two A's. Toss Amy some cash. Two A's as in one in the Amy and one in the Aaron, or two in the three Aaron, A's so total? Three A's total. Two in the Aaron. Yeah. You can follow Molly, Moonchild Molly with an IE on Instagram by her jewelry, Yay! Justin Art Boy on Instagram for Justin's art music, Justin Kaziski on Spotify, and DM Vega is me everywhere. Just Dan Comedy on TikTok, YouTube. Email us at journalmefine at gmail.com. Follow us on IG. Uh, thanks for listening, folks. Please subscribe. Toss us a rating. We got, we got a mean review. <laughs> oh, uh, balance good. us out. 
it, it was mean. Balance they clearly didn't listen to a whole app, I don't think. But yeah, thanks yeah, for listening. They gave Happy us today. criticism that wasn't necessarily welcome or invited. It wasn't basically we want compliments. It yeah. wasn't the criticism we wanted, but it was the criticism we deserved. Justin. That was beautiful. I it's so real that I'm hurt by it, right? Because <laughs> we didn't deserve no, it. No, it's just a Batman quote. My head hurts. Write it down. I've got work. Write it down. My car died. Write it down. I've got no drive. Uh, the car is a metaphor for motivation. So it's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to Journal Me Fine.